Welcome again to Tiger Carpenter. Today I will show you possibly the best thickness planer sled out there. And here it is. So let me show it to you. It's quite heavy. One of my prerequisites was to make all my jigs waterproof. That's why I had to use acrylic. I used 19 millimeters thick acrylic sheet. I added aluminum angle, which is three quarter inch. Made a groove on my router. Aluminum angle is flush with the, the bottom of the jig. Because we have two angles on each side, this jig is very stiff now. As you can see, even if I apply significant force to it, it's not going to flex. Because the acrylic surface is slippery, it was important to come up with the idea to clamp the piece to the jig. Uh, I drilled a matrix of holes which are four inches apart and I made three rows. The third row is two inches apart. So we have four and four inches and two inches here. So it gives me a lot of flexibility. I can joint or thickness, thickness plane very narrow boards. Uh, medium width boards and wide boards. What is the purpose of the of this matrix of the holes? Uh, I drilled eight millimeters holes and then I threaded them. I tapped them to nine millimeters, and I used nine millimeters stainless steel inserts that I screwed into each hole. So each of these holes has stainless steel threaded insert which is 9 millimeters external thread and internal thread is 6 millimeters which allowed me to use 6 millimeters grab screws or set screws in each of the holes and these set screws are adjustable from below from underneath of the jig so I have the allen key here and I can turn the grab screw and it's protruding from the stainless steel insert. The sled is 19 millimeters. I used 12 millimeter grab screws. It allows me to raise each individual leveling grab screw to around nine millimeters maximum. And if that wasn't enough, then of course I will resort to using some shims. So now do you have the, the general idea of how this jig works. I can adjust the height of each individual grab screw, which is buried in the threaded insert, which is stainless steel, which makes the whole thing waterproof and time, time proof. It also gives me possibility to attach other jigs or attachments uh, using these, uh, the matrix of the threaded holes because they are evenly spaced so this is like a modular design I can design all my attachments and jigs uh, to use four or two inches distances between the mounting holes and I can attach anything I want to this sled the first good example of such attachment is the stop block I, for the stop block, I used a three quarter inch square aluminum block. I drilled the holes six inches apart and I simply screwed this block, this aluminum stop block to two of these matrix threaded insert holes. So what I have here is the wooden board and it's not it's not so wide, as you can see. Uh, it's not, not even four inches wide. 
So for this board, I will be using the two inches matrix. How I will clamp this board to my jig. First of all, let me clear the myth and some of, peop some of the people uh, already know this, some of the people will argue but I can tell you for sure that the thickness planer has the knives and the rollers on top of the material and as the material is passing through the thickness planer the rollers are pushing on top of the material pushing the material down and rolling this way so the material is being pushed this way so what is very good to know is that the stop block on the thickness planer slats should be in front it should be in front of the material because the rollers will be pushing the material to the sled and the material will be pulling the sled together out of the thickness planer so when you put the stop block at the, at the end of the material it actually does nothing this is not the stop block this is the clamping jaw this is the fixed clamping jaw so I will be using this side of the clamp so how am I going to secure this material to the sled and here comes the sleek design again I already have the threaded inserts with the grab screws distributed evenly as the matrix so I will be protruding these two grab screws to about five or six millimeters or let's say quarter of an inch you can see here is my stop block so this is my stop block this is not my stop block this is the clamping force so here is my stop block when i'm using the thickness planer sled i want to have the cup facing upwards so i want to cut the cup first and the arch will be underneath so that we can fill up the, the arch with the grab screws protruding from the sled so first i will secure the material by locking it in place so it will be resting on these two grab screws serving as the stop block this is the front stop block now the material will be pulling the sled together with the piece so the back part doesn't do anything so I'm backing up the clamp bolt for the clamp bolts I used also stainless steel threaded inserts which are 9 millimeters uh, 8 millimeters internal and 12 millimeters external thread this is my clamping fixed jaw I'm making my grab screws to stick out 5 to 6 millimeters <laughs> let me show you again this is the front stop block the material is hitting the true two protruding grab screws and they will be ensuring that the material will pull the sled along and here at the back I will tighten the clamp bolt then this edge is almost touching the sled so the gap and the cup is on my side so I will rotate it for you so that you can maybe see better how I adjust it that the allen screwdriver can actually go inside it can go under the material on this side this part is touching the sled and my side now is touching the sled it means the board is twisted it's cupped, it's cupped in the middle and it's twisted uh, this side up so what we are going to do we will start from the highest point so I find the the Allen grab screw and I will protrude it I'm not going to put any excessive force just I just want to touch and you can see when it's raising 
you can see one more one half turn and it's raising the material so we don't want that we want to almost raise the material okay so now this grab screw is preventing the material to be pushed by the rollers uh, and this will al uh, allow us to cut this cup so because we have two grab screws I will raise another one now that the material can't be pushed because it's already we already raised the grab screws underneath then we basically already fixed the problem if you are paranoid you can raise more screws but I don't think it's even necessary uh, here I have small twist on this side so I will raise this grab screw slightly because I don't want the material to rock it feels very solid already some people will say oh it's taking forever to adjust these grab screws actually it's not it's only because I'm trying to demonstrate the process I'm taking time to find the points which are twisted and unsupported and explain it and so on in the reality if you use wedges it will take you a lot more time to find the wedges to push them underneath to hot glue them then to clean them up and so on and so on this is so sleek you just adjust the grab screws push it through the thickness planer and see how the cup goes when you are confident it's getting flat uh, you can remove the sled and plane the other side you don't have to do any cleanup you don't have to find the wedges and buy the wedges and so on and so on this is one time effort okay feels good i'm going to tighten slightly the clamp before you put any wood through your thickness planer it's a good idea to to test it if you have stud finder you can use it but because i have metal table and aluminium rails and stainless steel hardware i'm using neo neodymium magnets oh and you can see they are catching on the nails very well so even the nail is thin and small neodymium is catching and you can see my stainless steel hardware and aluminium hardware and there is nothing and when I go on the metal table it's catching <laughs> until it broke my plastic bag but you can see the the nail is here so let me remove it okay we found the nail with the magnet I already removed the nail okay so this is my Makita 2012 NB thickness planer the height of the table is 62 millimeters so I built my outfit roller table and infit roller table which is identical to be exactly 62 millimeters high at the rollers at the top of the rollers everything is in place let's do the dry test then one full turn is two millimeters so half turn is one millimeter <clears throat> i have to admit that this acrylic sled is heavy so you can use it as your gym as well as you can see it was just the first cut so it cut slightly correctly on the side that is twisted so it's a good sign so as you can see uh, the sled is working the board is being cut on the cup first and on the twist 
so all is good so we will take it slowly I made the sled 298 millimeters wide but this doesn't limit me to use the material 298 I can use the full capacity of the thickness planer which is 12 inches which is 304 mm because I don't need to the material can be overhanging from the edges it's not a problem okay so half turn you can see that we are slowly getting there removing the cup and the twist slowly getting to the corner and to the other side which is lower half turn and let's go and it's official the board is planed there she is it's all planed it's nice and clean now we have to now we have to verify whether it's flat so let me open this it's very easy we just open the clamp and the piece is free you can see here that the board, the board is nice and smooth so wow that's actually very flat as you can see the board is flat so now I'm going to run the other side so since I'm already in the middle of this mess now you can see how big the cup underneath the board was because it's planing the ends first and the middle is still low so now I have the full width the full length of the board planed nice and smooth on both sides okay so there you have it the board is jointed and planed it looks perfect to me let me test it again wow this is really flat on both sides I hope you can see it it's really beautiful so <coughs> the jig has passed the test with the flying colors and hope you like it thank you very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to tiger carpenter bye bye